Hey guys, it's Erica. We are going to be checking out Ed Mix's uh, Tank Dance Practice. I thought they were saying fishy, and I thought it was like fish tank concept, so I'm just like, wait, doesn't Gus 7 have a song called Fish Tank or Fish? I think it's just called Fish, and they talk about a fish tank in it. So I'm just like, oh, similarities. Just kidding. They don't say fish in it. They say fresh. But the way they say it sounds like fish, because they go, I'm so freshy, fresh, fish, fresh, fresh, freaky, fresh, I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to see this choreography. I, I really like the choreography for Oh Oh, um, so what I thought about that song and stuff. But um, I think this song um, is a dope B-side. It's a dope sort of uh, song to also go with the title track. Um, and it's, it's more... Um, What's the right word? I, I'm sure the, the, the as I was speaking for the past like 10 seconds, I'm trying to think of the word. It's more accessible um, to hear than um, oh oh and stuff. Um, meaning like it's easier to listen on your ears and stuff. It it doesn't require a specific type of taste to uh, vibe with it. I guess you know what I mean. Um, versus something that could be a little little bit a little bit more out there. You know what I mean. Um, so yes, I'm very excited to see this choreography. You won't waste any more of your time. So you know what it like go. And coming. That's a really cool start though. This whole everything. Very cool choreography so far. Why was the audio so quiet? Now it's loud. At least the singing is. Great hairography. We love to see it. Clean movements though. Awesome textures. Nice. Interesting how they got to that diagonal. That's a cool part. That's fun. We love some tutting, but that's a hard shape to get. I don't know how they... How the uh, my arms aren't flexible though. Great shapes though, very clean. That, that was a cool ripple. Dynamics. Nice. It's fun. This is fun. I like this. Again, that shape's hard. Well, cause, again, I'm not flexible in my arms. Okay. Interesting circle formation, but cool. Oh, that was cool. They like got it with like the bed over. Their shapes are crazy here. And pictures. And they have really great dynamics. Nice. And that was a cool transition formation wise. Nice. Their textures are great too. This is not easy choreography, let me tell you. I'll be the first to say that. Yeah, nice outro too. That's sick as fuck. Honestly. I don't know why the voices were brought up more in the audio than the actual beat itself. Because the track isn't like that. So I don't know why here they turned up the audio. And I know they have a full like mixing machine there. Because um, we've seen the dance practice room. Um, so that's interesting. Because um, they're not doing live vocals. Um, not doing that type of choreography, uh, but well, I mean they do do the live vocals. I don't doubt that, but um, it would sound different to me at least. Um, but yeah, to me this choreography showcases more of what I more than their uh, than OO did. And OO is really good and stuff. But for here we saw a lot more for them. We see these beautiful strong shapes, these pictures. We see some tutting. We see a lot. We see so so much that really like if they stick with this type of style i think that's what they should do um which is very very cool and i mean you have twice who i think 
with their choreography, Twice is mono most known for those shapes. And those shapes are so, so pretty. They're so, so cool. Uh, so I like seeing that translated for here because I feel like Itzy's choreography is a little bit different. I mean, sure, they go for shapes and they do all that stuff, but 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 Itzy's so specific, you know what I mean? And this girl group is also very specific with their choreography. Reminds me sort of of how kind of fourth gen, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I, I don't know where the fourth gen is ending and where the fifth generation is beginning. Because I feel like with these new groups that are debuting, um, there's there's just there's differences that were from the fourth gen group. So I don't know where the lines are going. The lines are kind of blurry, at least to me. I feel like most other, at least when I see other people talk about it, they don't talk about how I don't know if we're in the fifth generation or not. You know what I mean? Um, but for sure, it reminds me of how like boy groups of the four, earlier fourth gen boy groups um, were debuting and have a specific type of choreography like TXT and uh, I can't think of other groups off the top of my head but there's this, this sort of whole thing of those boy groups they had such specific types of choreography for each group and stuff um, and that's what it sort of feels like for here. Like this would be a girl group with that type of specific choreography. I mean, Stacy has a specific type of choreography. Other girl groups do have specific types of choreography. Um, but I don't know. This one just feels very, very different. And I really, really like that. Um, and it works with the song very, very well. And I hope that they stick with this style of choreography um, going forward or something that's a little bit more like this. You know what I mean? Um, and sure, you can have different movements, choreography evolves, choreography changes, and all that other stuff. But I think if they, as a girl group, stick with, um, again, choreography similar to this, that that would be... Um, a smart but then they're kind of they're kind of end mix right so you mix and you match right so they they probably won't based off their concept as a girl group but diversity is cool here we love to see the the um duality if you would um of a group and stuff but i really like this choreography i really like the style and it's so unique and if uh, yeah i feel like i haven't seen another girl group do this type of choreography so i think also what i also want them to kind of stick with this is because it's very unique and i want them to just do this and to be the group where you can get this this type of choreography from but yeah again extremely extremely clean um very very well trained girl groups and stuff and they have a lot of extremely tricky parts and they have some really really dope shapes really really cool imagery and pictures and because uh, I feel like the, also the pictures and the imagery and the the shapes and stuff um yeah, I'm, I don't think they've ever been at this level with this sort of as many as you see here and stuff again not saying that like other girl groups so i mean like twice as iconic for it but their the type of choreography is so specific as whale um but i really like seeing that from them and i think that would be where their strengths lie because they did so well here um so yeah i really enjoyed it though i think this choreography is absolutely amazing to me i like it better than oh oh it gives me more of what i want from like a debut group than oh oh did and like shows me a lot more um colors if you would for this girl group choreography wise, if that makes sense. I hope it does. And if you probably check out my dance practice reactions for a lot of other groups, I hope you know what I mean. I feel like people who regularly watch me probably know what I mean, what I'm talking about. Um, but I really enjoyed this. Go to put your thoughts and comments down below to that about Nmix's tank dance practice. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me, want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, such as TikTok, or in the description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye.